So let's talk about integrity for a moment and what happens when you don't have a lot of it. So integrity, the way I define it, means a knowing of who you are, knowing what's important for you, knowing what decisions are the right decisions for you to make, knowing what message you want to bring to the world, knowing what you value. And I talk extensively about this in the last, I talked in the last two days about this um, in my videos about integrity. And you can also check out my integrity playlist, Intention and Integrity. And I want to talk here about, this is a sort of a continuation of the video called um, your, atten your Integrity Determines Your Level of Energy, something like that. It's a, it's a quick video, like a one minute video. And what I said there is about basically the less integrity you have, the less available energy you'll have to use. So I want to explain what that means. What that means is that when you know who you are and why you're doing what you're doing, you spend less time doubting yourself. So I gave this example to some guy on a sales call that was, you know, a sales call, I basically mean the coaching call. I call them the same, but it's mostly a coaching call. And, uh, and the guy was sort of, um, very shy, very introverted. And when I talk to somebody and I can feel that they're kind of shy and introverted, I, I know that they're not going to be good clients for me. And the reason for that is because I'm looking for people who have an ability to extrovert. Now, I'm not saying that guy is, is you know, fucked up or is a lost cause because I was an introvert. But what I do tell them is to yeah, I give them exercises to find out who they are find their integrity and then they won't be extra introverted anymore so so being introverted like that is not a good thing you know you might be I'm an introvert in general so you know in a social setting I am either like the most introverted guy or the most extroverted guy but I mean I'm not usually in the middle so uh, so so it's not it's not like a problem but it's something you need to take care of and um, I was very clear of the guy like I basically talked to him, helped him, coached him for like an hour and a half, you know, not even trying to close a sale, not even, you know, knowing I'm not going to close this, try to close because I don't want to work with somebody who's an introvert. And, you know, when he fixes it and I told him how to fix it, I'd be glad to work with him. And then I would very possibly want to work with him. But, um, but many people, uh, they get into these weird value arguments with themselves. So they think, okay, um, I want the money, but I'm not sure I want to work with this person. So how do I kind of measure it up? And, uh, you know, there is um, a very special case. For example, uh, Robert Sislow, Grant Cardone's uh, production director, in my interview with him, you can check it out on my YouTube, I, I talked to him about this phenomenon. And he said, yeah, I work with everybody. Like I work with, um, you know, people I hate. But the reason he does that is because he doesn't work strictly with them. He works, you know, he helps them make videos when that later, you know, people are gonna know he made these videos and he gets paid. But what I do is I work with people personally, so I don't wanna spend time on somebody that I'm not gonna enjoy, that I feel like my energy goes down when I talk to him because part of my integrity is, is being free, never feeling like I don't wanna talk to somebody, never feeling like I'm forced to talk to someone. And um, so I just have to make a value judgment and say no. Uh, but in the past, I wouldn't say no. I would, you know, work with that person and then I'd suffer. Uh, I'd have a really horrible time. And usually that person would actually get a refund, you know, ask me for a refund or just, you know, suddenly in the middle of working with him, it would be like, hey, this isn't working, you know, blah, 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 which is true. It wasn't. And, uh, and then I'd give him half a refund or a full refund and lose time and feel like shit and lose the money um, or, or on a separate case again uh, imagine me with that client and I'm like should I close him should I not close him you know blah 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 blah, blah. and all this energy could be wasted you know all this energy that I could use to simply you know make you know give him the best coaching call of his life 
Uh, or on, an, on a separate example is, let's say you want to close somebody, but you're like, oh, I don't want to sound needy, you know, I don't want to pressure him, and then, ah, bah, 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 and then you try to coach him, but it's like halfway there, and so basically when you're not clear on your intent, you know, your intention, it's because you lack integrity, it's because you don't know what you want. So you need to develop that intention. And again, I made tons of videos about it, especially in the last 48 hours. You should check them out. Um, and, and what I explain is that when you don't have that sense of integrity, you don't know what you're going for, you lack the ability to have full energy because everything becomes complicated. So when I found out that this guy was somebody I didn't want to work with at the time, I could have just been, I, could, I was just super like, yeah, ba -ba -ba -ba, it's okay, ba -ba 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 -ba, and just extremely passionate, extremely, you know, extroverted out there helping him. And on the same token, if this guy comes around and becomes an extrovert or somebody else, you know, who is an extrovert, contacts me, I'm going to close that guy like a fucking dog. Like, I'm not going to let the guy finish the call without us working together if I feel like that's the right decision for him and me. You know, it's a win-win. So, so it goes both ways. So I make better decisions. I make easier decisions. And even if, let's say, I'm financially strapped and I need money, I'll still not work with somebody who is, again, against my integrity to work with simply because I know who I am. And, um, yeah, it's really that simple. So when you fix your integrity, you'll be able to make these decisions easier. So you'll have more energy available to, to use, you know, to, to apply and better results, obviously, and more fun. So get that in integrity, get that quickly. If you need help with finding your integrity, just contact me. I'm going to help you with that. Watch the videos and subscribe if you haven't. And I do coaching. Again, contact me if you think I can help you. I'd love to change your life. First call is free. Talk to you soon.